Hello, my name is Anne Marie Cannon, and I'm the host of Armchair Historians. What's your favorite history? Each episode begins with this one question. My guests come from all walks of life and are people who get really excited about a particular time, place, or person from our distant or not so distant past. The jumping off point is where they become curious, then enter the rabbit hole into discovery, some through scholarly research, others through pop culture documentaries, and other podcasts. We look at history through the filter of other people's eyes. Armchair Historians is a Belgian Rabbit production. Stay up to date with us through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help to spread the word. Wherever you listen to your podcast, that is where you'll find us. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to leave us a five-star review on your podcast platform of choice. You can also find us at armchairhistorians.com. Armchair Historians is an independent podcast. If you'd like to support the show, become a patron through Patreon or buy us a cup of coffee through Ko-fi. Links to both in the episode notes. Hello, fellow armchair historians. Anne Marie here, stopping by to say Happy New Year. And I'm looking forward to bringing you some amazing guests in 2023. We will continue the conversation about the unbroken chain of history, inspiring stories of remarkable individuals, little known and often erased histories, and pivotal events that deserve to be brought out into the light of day. If you know me, you know that I believe that history is the touchstone to many meaningful conversations. According to U.S. historian Henry Glassie, history is not the past, but a map of the past drawn from a particular point of view to be useful to the modern traveler. Just think for a moment all of the ticking beats of time. Think about all the narrow misses that our ancestors had to go through in order for us to be here now. The odds were against us, and yet here we are, like miracles. Do we carry the history of our ancestors in our DNA? I often ponder this. And whose interpretation of history is correct? Which one is the truth? Is it possible that they could all be the truth? Symbolic representations interpreted by us, by my guests, representations of the historical landscape, Oh my word, I'm getting philosophical and deep. Anyways, I just wanted to stop by and let you know that we have some amazing programs coming up in the near future, starting with our next episode in which we talk to Christopher Graham, author of The Confidant, the untold story of the woman who helped win World War II and shape modern America. It's another one of those almost erased histories about a woman who worked hard to keep her identity unknown, and yet made a lot of things happen behind the scenes. I'm not going to tell you too much more, so be sure to tune in next time. I'd also like to take a moment to thank all of you who have supported the show, including our Patreon and Ko-fi supporters, our social media followers. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join in on the conversation if you haven't already. It really makes a difference. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe on your podcast platform of choice to Armchair Historians. You'll never miss an episode. And again, it really helps in the algorithms of the podcasting universe. And finally, I wish you all a peaceful and prosperous 2023. Thanks for listening.